Hey guys, Peach Mining 10 here, and I'm going to be showing you how to install the FTB mod pack. And so let's go ahead and get started. So I did do a video earlier today, FTB mod pack, and it is actually already uploaded, and it should be one of the first um, of the videos that have been uploaded of the FTB mod pack. And I'm just giving you my first impression in this video. But you can go ahead and go watch that after you get it installed, and you can just go ahead and start playing around. So first off, to get it, you're going to want to go to feedthebees.com, and it's just like that. I'll include the link in the description. Alright, so now the next part is going to depend on whether you're on a Windows or a Mac or Linux. Alright, so depending on your software, you're going to click the corresponding thing, obviously. But since I'm on a Mac, I'm going to download the jar, and as you can see, that's already downloaded. Let's go ahead and download the EXE so I can just show you that that does work. Alright, so now we have both of these. Let's go ahead and select these and pull these to our desktop. Alright, so that did actually export as a wine file, so I might be able to open it, but I'm not going to try. So let's just go ahead and open the jar. Now, you can actually do this on Windows if you'd like, but it's not as convenient. Alright, so let's go ahead and open the launcher. And as you can see, you'll get this little launcher console thingy. You can just go ahead and ignore that for now. You don't really need it, um, unless you're debugging or whatever. Alright, so now you you can see you have the select profile, create profile, all that good stuff. You also have the options, so you can go ahead and allocate your RAM. And you can actually change where you install your folders. So actually, let's go ahead and make a new folder here. And let's call this, um, let's see, what should we call it? Let's just call it FTB. And here's what we should be able to do. So as you can see, we're already directed to the desktop, so let's just type in slash and FTB. So now it will be installed into this folder here. So that's sweet. Also, here's the news, so if they're going to update or something like that, they will tell you right here, so that's rather cool. And also, later on, you'll be able to submit your, um, like if you're a mod developer, you can submit your mod packs in, and you can have them in here. But that is much later, I do believe. I'm not sure if that's actually going to happen, but that is just a bit of a rumor I've heard. Also, there's maps, so say there's like Sky Grid or whatever it's called, I don't even know. But anyways... So you can also go in here and create your profile, so that's, and this is 100% secure. They actually had someone that is not on the mod team, they actually contacted him, and he went through all of the code, and he ensured us that it is 100% safe, they're not going to be stealing your stuff, and you can go ahead and check out this website, um, I can assure you nothing's going to happen. But anyways, let's go ahead and get on to Optifine, because this is mainly on Optifine, I'm sure you guys know how to install this. So let's go ahead and go to where it says, let's see, edit mod pack. So you're going to want to have this open. Now we're going to go to this website, but we're going to do it like this. Let's just type in Optifine and do that. And minecraftform.net takes a while to open up. So you just want to click on the top one and it will pop up just like this. And you want to scroll down and go to preview Optifine HD B5 Ultra for Minecraft 1.4.2. I'll just click download right there. Alright, so as you can see, it is actually redirecting you to a adf.ly. Now, I might have to actually cut the audio here because occasionally the weird guy pops up down here. But as thankfully, we didn't. So let's just skip the ad. And this is some random banana. Okay, that's a little bit funny. But anyways, let's click on the download right here. Don't click on any of this crap because obviously it's a little bit strange. Alright, so now we can go ahead and get out of that because that is um, a little bit weird. Alright, so let's take our Optifine and let's drag it out here. Now, as you can see, it's not actually a zip. So if your computer actually unzips a file on its own, you just want to go ahead and right-click and just go ahead and click Compress. So now that that's compressed, it does need to be a zip. Alright, so let's go ahead and go back into here and let's click on Jar Mods and let's go Add Mod. So now let's go into Desktop and then let's click on Optifine.zip. So now, as you can see, enabled mods are right there. So we can disable it if we'd like. Now, that actually, all it does is it goes and it adds a dot disabled at the end, in case you guys were wondering. It, that's just how it does it. So let's go ahead and change that back to what it was. So there we go. So now Optifine will be in your thing. So let's just go ahead and click enable. Now, it will start over here, so that's good. But you can also add it like this. Just go into your... Uh, INST mods or inst mods, however you'd like to say that, and just drag your mods into here. So, this is how you do the jar mods. Other mods are the exact same, so that's sweet. Alright, so now we can actually go ahead and get started with the FTB mod pack. So, let me go ahead and show you that it does work. So, let's go ahead and exit out of this, and let's go ahead and slick, or select our profile, and I'm going to do this off screen, so I'll see you in a sec. 
Alright, so we have our password and stuff entered, and as you can see, it does create a nice little profile thing. And let's go ahead and click on our profile, and it's already selected, so let's just click Launch. Now we can actually click out of our um, first impressions video. So now let's go ahead and get out of this. And as you can see, it is downloading our Minecraft in Minecraft.jar. Now this might take a little while, depending on your internet connection, but what it's doing now is just downloading the... Um, now it's actually downloading the mod pack. But before, it was actually downloading just directly from Minecraft.net 1.4.2. So now it is downloading the mod pack, as I said before. So this download might take a little bit, but it shouldn't be all that large of a download because, as you can see, it's only 17,454 kilobyte. So that's probably about 17 megabyte, I believe. I might be wrong. Um, yeah, I think that's about 17 megabyte. So that is... Um, it might be a little bit faster depending on when you're watching this video because I'm sure hundreds of people are actually downloading this currently. So this should go ahead and start up within uh, probably about 5 to 10 seconds. So let's go ahead and wait on that. Alright, so we, as you can see, we are installing now. And as you can see, all that went away and FML is setting up your Minecraft environment. So now Minecraft is starting up. We have no errors and everything looks good so everything is starting up using 32 audio sources none of that really matters talking about IC2 and all this stuff so all of that's basically just for the developers now it might take a little bit of a um, short amount of time to or open up the first time but as you can see there are only 38 mods in the mod pack currently now currently we do not have red power we might have Zycraft I'm not sure but you can go ahead and scroll through here and just scan past all the mods you have and let's see, is Optifine in here? I know Optifine's in here, I'm just not exactly sure where it is. So I think we're just going to go ahead and go into our game so I can show you that. Let's see, does it show it? Yeah, let's just go ahead and go into our game so that I can show you that Optifine is enabled. So let's go ahead and just type in Optifine Test. So let's go ahead and start this world up. Apparently Enter no longer actually lets you create the world. So you have to actually click on it. So loading world and converting. Why is it converting? Oh, there we go. As you can see, it said Optifine Test. So that means that is awesome. And Portal Data does not exist for this dimension. Basically just means that Portal Gun hasn't actually been used yet. So that's pretty cool. So as you can see, this does work. And this is awesome. So let's go ahead and... Oh, sweet, some forestry stuff. Alright, so now let's go ahead and pull this screen up so that I can show you that Optifine is running. Alright, so let's go ahead and make this full screen actually before I do that. Alright, so now let's go ahead and press F3, and Optifine, as you can see, is running pretty good. So that is sweet. So let's go ahead and check on our stuff. So as you can see, we're only getting 42 FPS right now. So that's not all that great, and we do have a cow in the background. Let's turn off our sound, and let's go to video settings. So I'm on far, and Optifine is doing its job pretty well. So let's go ahead and turn this down to short and fast. So as you can see, yeah, Optifine is doing a great job at keeping my FPS up. Now, I don't have FPS, uh, FPS fluctuation off. But anyways, yeah, so this has been how to install Optifine. And I'll include the Optifine download link in the description down below, as well as the link to my video of the displaying of the um, actual FTB mod pack with the 38 mods, soon to be 39 and even more, maybe. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and hit the like button. And if there's anything you'd like me to add, I'll do another video just for you. And go ahead and hit the subscribe button to go ahead and see the latest videos that I'll be outputting. I do actually do a Let's Play. I believe I'm on episode 44 currently, but I will be continuing that and starting with the FTB mod pack shortly. So thank you guys for watching. This is PG Mining 10, and I will see you next time. Peace.